And today we're going to talk about the most ridiculous calls I've ever seen on DoorDash and Uber Eats. What's going on guys? Welcome to Renchette. We don't know the work on DoorDash and Uber Eats, but I live as well. Now, it has been a whole year since I've made a video. But not really because it was a few days, but because of New Year's. Happy New Year to you guys! And if you guys follow me on Instagram, I really wish you guys a uh, Happy New Year and stuff like that. So if you're not following, please do so because that's where I communicate the most. Now let's get right to these ridiculous calls. <laughs> okay, so right here, this is the first one. Nine miles right here for $6. Now, my rule of thumb is the mileage has to be doubled the pay. Or at least close to double the pay. Now this thing should have been $18, but they decided that they was gonna pay me $6 for me to go from here to Parkchester, then take the I-95 back and roll to Gun Hill and roll it straight to the East Bronx, close to the Willens Bridge area. How ridiculous is that? Now, it isn't, it's close to a half a day Ooh, traffic should be good, but no, man, that's way too far. Too much mileage, too little play, and not to mention the time that you will lose doing this call for such a small amount. So definitely, I didn't do this call. And this call right here is not that bad in pay versus uh, mileage. It should be $14, but it's, it's $10.25, and if you get a tip, then it will make it worthwhile. However, this call was taking me out of my area that I like to do and taking me to Hunts Point right here which is an area that I don't like to do because they have a lot of old buildings that don't have elevators it's hard parking in some of the areas so then I will have to drive back through the Bruckner right here in this area right here which is 163 which is usually congested with traffic and that is a definite no-no so I will lose a lot of time and a lot of money just by doing this call so I definitely deny this call and this call right here <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. It deceived me like for one second, but then I was like, what? Now I'll explain to you in a second. First off, it, it was done at 3.43, which is full on afternoon rush hour, right? That's a definite no-no. It's going almost 10 miles, right? And it was gonna pay me 14 bucks. That should be at least close to $20, right? But then if you're like, ah, for 40 minutes, I'm on 15 bucks, it's not that bad. If you're bored, then you could take it, right? No. This call is a testament to knowing your market and knowing what area you're in. Because if you would have taken this call, you would have known that this right here, this little bridge right there, is a bridge that costs like three to five dollars by now. So this call right here, for almost 15 bucks, now becomes a $10 call for almost 10 miles and not to mention that you're in rush hour traffic and it's gonna take you at least like a, like maybe an hour to do too much too much this call right here six miles for four dollars right here six miles for four dollars right there now the main problem is is that it was close to rush hour and there is no way in this earth I was gonna do that call in rush hour for such long mileage and such little play. Like, I don't know who in their right minds would take this call right here. Now, let me show you this call right here. I just had to take a picture of this because this it, it was so ridiculous. So first off, it was right smack in the start of the afternoon rush hour, right? That's one. Two, it was f 15 miles. <laughs> Three, it was $10. And four, it was three deliveries in in this area. One and two, and then taking the Bronx River and then making your way to that 95 and going to the West Bronx. I forgot to take off of the map right there. I mean, like, who would take this call? This thing would take you more than an hour to do. No lie, more than an hour for 15 bucks? I mean, for $10? Come on, man. Okay, now this one. This is a weird call that I didn't do because I didn't even know that DoorDash did a GameStop. A GameStop games? Games? Who would trust people to pick up their games? 
What if it's a, a brand new game or something? I found that weird. I didn't do it because it was too long. It was taking the I-95 and it was going to Manhattan, which is a market that is known to be slow. And I didn't want to be nowhere near because then I have to drive back and waste time to where I was at anyway. So I was like, not worth it. No way, Jose. To this car right here. This is another ridiculous car. Look, like 13 miles for $5. <laughs> And almost at the rush hour. Come on, man. Really? Who would do this call? Would you do this call? I, I, I think not. Wow. This call could easily, easily be almost an hour. Crazy. And before we go, I need you guys to tell me your most ridiculous call that you have ever gotten and how much of the mileage to a pay difference. I want to know how badly... <laughs> these calls are good this is like mind-blowing to me now if you found this video information please give me a like on this video if you have been hit with a couple of really low balls please give me a like on this video if you have faith that 2021 is going to be a prosperous and good year for you please also give me a like on this video so to listen guys god bless stay prayed up that's key peace